Okay, so finally our grand finale to the curve sketching question. If you recall, we've been trying to sketch this curve, 2x cubed plus uh, 5x squared minus 4x minus 3. So taking a look at the information we have found out, we have figured out that, uh, I'll just move it down there, we figured out that we had an x-intercept, three x-intercepts at 1, 0, negative 1 half, 0, and negative 3, 0. We also determined we had a y-intercept at 0, negative 3. So that's four dots I can place in the graph. Then we figured out that there was a maximum at negative 2, comma 9, a minimum at 1 third, comma, negative 100 over 27, and it should be all the same, uh, it should all give the same information with our intervals of increase and decrease as well. So I'm just going to start plotting some of these points and see what comes out. So we'll just start with our x-intercept of 1, comma, 0. x of 1, y of 0, there's one dot. x of negative 1 half, comma, 0, there's another one. And x of negative 3, comma, 0. So those should be my x-intercepts. And we weren't sure if the function was going to, at that point, go up and down and through like this. And how high was it going to go? We knew none of that information. So we had uh, have to put the points back in the negative one-half, and the negative three. So once we had the y-intercept, and we knew that the y-intercept was a zero, negative three, we had a strong suspicion it was going to come down and back up. But we would like to know where these points are. So if we're going to then, I've got my intercepts in green. I will now switch over and try and do my maximum and minima in blue. So I have a maximum at negative two, comma, nine, way up here. I've got a maximum point and a minimum point at one-third comma negative 100 that's about negative 3.7 if we're just going to ballpark it so at one-third and go down to about negative four there's a dot in here somewhere actually up a little higher but it's just a sketch right curve sketching not graph so we've got our points now we found out that when x was less than negative 2, it was always increasing. So the function, it would stand to reason, is going to come up through and hit that point at the top. After, between negative 2, all the way over to the interval of negative 1 third, the graph is going down. So the graph is going to go down, hit that intercept, go through the y-intercept, and hit that as a minimum. Then, from that one-third onward, forever, it was increasing, which means it's going to go up, hit positive one, and again, climb off forever. So your basics of curve sketching, if uh, just to make this better, you don't leave the points where you can't tell what it is, you'd label that point, since the numbers aren't on there, I would label this as one-third, comma, negative 100 over 27. Everything else is a number that can be read off the graph, so I'll leave those alone so it doesn't clutter it too much. And what you're seeing there is all the steps put together, intercepts, maximum, minima, intervals of increase and decrease. I haven't looked at what's called concavity, nor have I looked at points of inflection. That I'll do when we do a second, uh, when they look at further videos of mine, where it gets a touch more complicated, again with asymptotes and stuff. But if we were drawing that graph, that should be what it looks like. So if we were to have plugged it into graphing software, graphing software shows you this, where we see at negative 3, a familiar point, at negative a half, and at 1, here at about a third, that seems reasonable, a third of the way down, you have a minimum. At negative 2, 9, we have that maximum we were looking for and intercept at negative 3, it all looks exactly the same as what the graph like wind plot or your, your graphic calculator would show you all the same information. So I hope this video, this third and last video, I hope all of that has helped you with some curve sketching.